Hello, I'm Harrison. I'm with City Theatrical, and today I'm going to talk about the uh, DMX Cat here. It is a uh, small Bluetooth connected tester that you can use to test uh, DMX lights. I'm going to take it here and plug it into the uh, Mac or I have. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth. I can pull up this Mac Aura with the RDM controller. As I see here, I can identify this light and the light next to it. And when I press DMX, it automatically loads the profile and patches the fixture to my phone. I now have control of the light and am able to test the fixture without having to go pull out an entire console or even look up the manual for the fixture. Now, if I need to make any changes to this fixture, I can do that via RDM as well. We'll identify it again, take the light out. I press the RDM and I can change the DMX address. In here, I can come in, readdress it to address 10, and it'll get saved to the fixture. Now, if you have a device that is not RDM, we do have a fixture profile that you can use to look up the uh, fixture in the database. So we go into our fixture setup, find the database, we search through, and we find the fixture that we want. We find the uh, Martin here. We find the fixture type, which is a moving head, the uh, fixture model, which is a Mac Aura, and then the profile that you're set to. And then you also want to uh, go ahead and set the start address. So I have my uh, standard here, 101. Change this over to 10. And now I have control of the light again. I can also find the fixture manual here. All of this is stored in the cloud, so we'll be able to pull it down from wherever you are and get any information about the lighting fixture that you need. Now you have the manual at your hand, again, not having to go back to your workstation. If you need to control a light that doesn't have a profile, you can either build that profile with our profile editor or use the DMX controller, which provides sliders in order to turn DMX channels on one at a time. You can also save presets in this setting. Also, we're able to test DMX. So if I come into my DMX tester here and analyze DMX, every DMX cat comes with an adapter, changes over to five pin mail. This is a feed from my uh, setup from the uh, booth here. I can get my DMX feed with the amount of channels that I am and at the refresh rate. Also, break time, mark after break time, enter slot time, and mark before break time. It'll also tell me if DMX is present or if RDM is present. I can also go into a view levels mode. In this mode, it'll tell me which channels are turning on and off. All of them will be listed here. It also includes a flicker finder, which will save a snapshot and detect any flicker changes that might happen in your system. You're able then able to track those down and go and fix that problem. The last three programs are uh, independent of the dongle. One of them is a dip switch calculator. Allows you to set dip switches and figure out which the settings you need. A light meter. As well as an RF analyzer in order to scan the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum when setting up your wireless DMX. Finally, the last and my favorite feature, if you do forget where your DMX cat is, we do have an alarm that'll make a light go off and a beep to be able to find it. The battery life is 20 hours. It's rechargeable with a uh, micro USB plug and uh, comes with a belt clip and a ring clip. Thank you for watching. This is City Theatrical and the DMX Cat. You can learn more at citytheatrical.com.